Hey guys, welcome back to another Attack of Pikachu um, episode. The last episode, we completed Tenty Park and got back the necklace for the girl. We visited Baker Detective Agency and found that we weren't allowed to help investigate, so we decided to head back to Harry's apartment. Harry is Tim's dad, the main character, alongside Pikachu. Anyway, chapter 2 was this week, Little Wick Cave. Yes, chapter 2, Little Wick Cave. Pikachu and I left the Baker Detective Agency and headed to my dad's apartment. So, this is Harry's room. Looks kind of old. First, let's give this room a once over. Right. Oh, and before I forget, if you think there's something particularly important among the info we gather today, you should write it down on its own page in your case list. Yeah, I did. I sorted out all the important info and put it on a special page. Hey, good job. Glad you're thinking ahead. Remember, it's important to go over your notes from time to time. Make sure you keep all the info we gather organized like that. Doo, doo, doo. Nice jazz music. Receipts, receipts, a notepad, some sweets. Looks like he was keeping track of his expenses. I can definitely understand wanting some sweets around to keep you going. A disorganized jumble of records, magazines, and books. Hmm? The store won't open. It seems like it's locked. How strange. Is there a key somewhere around here? Let's check the bed. The sheets are a mess. Looks like he just woke up immediately and headed out. And in the pillow, there's nothing. Receipts, no pads and sweets, and and receipts are covering nothing that resembles a key. There's a re recipe card posted here. It's my mom's writing. The refrigerator is empty. We should go grocery shopping. Did he keep the key nice and cold? I guess not. A TV. Dad only watched the news. This place has a lot of stuff, too. A dictionary, novels, food magazines, a health food supply, sweets. The TV switched off. I guess he didn't watch it much. And looking at all the dust that's piled up, I don't think this is where he hit the key either. Oh, oh no. There are jazz records here. My dad listens to them whenever he needed to think about things. Wow, he certainly had a good taste in music. I don't see a key anywhere. 
This carpet is, one the, is the one we used back home. You said you liked the design, but it was getting beat up. I thought you'd thrown it out. The design's nice, but it's also nice to, 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 to the touch too. I'd say I'd like this carpet. I don't take key line around anywhere. The dishes are all left as it is. But the coffee machine is, a cle is as clean as a whistle. So we could make coffee whenever we needed it, no doubt. And I don't think the key will be somewhere around here. We checked just about everywhere, but no clues and no key. I guess we'll have to take an even closer look. But seriously, the state of this room. Yeah, Dad would always be like this, but he would always say he, he, he knew exactly where everything was. It doesn't do us any good if only Harry knows where things are. Can you think of anything else? Harry has it in Pixie's hat, Harry at home. If it... This one. When Dad was back home, what did he do? Figure it out from the past actions, huh? You're starting to think more like a detective. Oh, now that I know about it, Dad always hid his stuff in valuable food containers. <laughs> Not valuable food containers. Dad always hid his valuable things in food containers. In food containers? Yeah, there was one time he stuck a key to the back of a su sugar pot. My mom was pretty surprised when she found it. Food, huh? Was there something like that for here? Cash or something somewhere? Yes, there's. I heard him saying a healthy spot of sweets. And there's one right here. This jar is my dad's favorite candy. He got him a jar for his birthday from the whole family. I remember visiting the Vulture stores, but nobody seemed to have it. Yeah, I don't recall seeing this before. Here, give me one. Act as selfish again, hmm? There's something on the base. <gasps> I found it, Pikachu. The key. Of course. Just to be the best place to hide it. Come on, to get the doors on that shelf open. Key. Alright, let's unlock this. I hope it has some clue. Could this be? Pikachu, I think I found some notes. Really? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, this definitely is. Good work, Tim. I'd say we're hot on Harry's trail now. <sighs> Yay. Harry's notes. Wouldn't show some kind of relationship diagram, but it doesn't do us any good if we can't figure out what the symbols mean. Watch the other piece of paper. It looks like a map and it has some marks on it. The layout of this area. This is a map of Rhyme City, and the area is marked. They were the incidents that Harry was investigating happened. You're right, this place over here has marks too, although only one place had an incident. That mark is completely different from the rest, and the incident happened after Harry went missing, which means my dad predicted where an incident was going to occur, and marked it? That seems likely. The remaining three marks for, are for a warehouse, a lake, and, lit and Litwick Cave. That's about all we can get from this. We'll have to cover them one at a time. Good idea. There's got to be something we can find out if we go to these places. Alright, let's head out to him. Yeah. We decided to first head to the cave my dad had marked. Hence, Litwick Cave. This is the cave, and we see Drifloon coming out. Amelia, we need to run, but my leg. There's someone here. Yeah, that sounds like something's going on. Glilly, and more than ice. Come on, let's go. Pikachu, Thunderbolt. Hey, don't boss me around. Unfortunately, I can't use birds ever since the accident. What? No, no, no. Let's just get its attention. Okay. Oh, oh, ice, oh no, I pressed it. Are you even trying? Shut up. <laughs> no, we're locked in. <sighs> Nuts. One big rock. You ready? Let's go. That must have hurt to be. No, 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 no. Ooh. 
No. Oof. This really hurts. Alrighty. Are we gonna kick it? I know. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We emerged victorious. Bye. Yeah, you can at least learn who they are. This is Mako Okamoto, and she's a TV director. You okay? Uh, I think so. But my friend here, she's hurt her leg. No, I'm fine. Uh, oh, hey, don't push it. Thank you for helping us. My name is Mako, and this is... This is Amelia Christie, and she's a rookie assistant director. Leaving. Oh, I'm afraid she's really hurt. We need to get her out of this cave now. All right. In this cold, we'll freeze before anyone helps us. The entrance has collapsed, but we'll see if there's some way we can get out. Thank you. Be careful, okay? First, we should check out the collapsed entrance. Yeah. Our cases have escaped from the cave, which I think we can do. There's a little bit there's what I say. <laughs> Wait a second, Tim. But we're checking out the entrance, right? Exactly, but how are we gonna do anything if it's so dark? I don't have anything useful and you can't do any moves, right? This is where you need to use your brain. Is there anything at all we can use for light? The Litwick. This may be Litwick. I've seen them around back home. Very percep perceptive. Tim, hey, Litwick, wake up, will ya? This wick, a light in the darkness. Wow, I didn't realize that little wick's flame was so bright. Yeah, should be easier to investigate now, for sure. I'm keen to find clues about my dad. Right, that's one of the reasons we need to find our way out. Yeah, let's check out by the entrance. It's blocked by some rocks. There are some gaps here and there, but it's not big enough for a person to get through. We'd be in trouble if it collapses. Let's find another way out. Hey, look up. L up. Up. What do you mean, look up? Is there a way out there? Guessing there is. Yes, it's very big. The moon. The ceiling is open. Maybe we can get a flying Pokemon to carry us. Yeah, a bunch of different Pokemon have settled here, so there must be a flying Pokemon around here, right? Alright, first let's get some info on the Pokemon here in the cave. Talk to Mako. You want to know what sorts of Pokemon are in this cave? I researched that before the shoot, so you can count on me. First got Litwick, right? And then, uh, what was it? Oh, Mako. Oh, I know. We can tell what Pokemon are here from the footage we just took. Oh, good idea. Okay, let's get to it. Ah, the battery's dead. It's fine. I got it back up. Oh no, my bag is gone. Do I want to quit in for the shoot in it? I remember. I borrowed it a little while ago and left it by the sign at the entrance. The battery's in it. Okay, we'll go look for that bag. What we need is a Pokemon that knows how to fly. Let's check the footage Mako shot. Maybe we'll see one on that. 
Okay, let's find that bag prompto. I want to play this move closer to collapse. I think I can move this, then the bag. There it is, the bag. Well, it's a pouch. I found a bag. Thank you, this is how what we need. Second time's the charm, let's watch the video. Alright Tim, let's keep, let's check that footage. Make sure you keep your eyes on for any flying Pokemon. Or anything that'll help us escape. Let's. Good evening everyone. This is one of Rhyme City's Here we are, spots. recording without Tim a clue. Yeah. And the reason this cave is so popular. Weird going on. Look, it's not changed. Yeah. Its eyes changed color, then it attacked us. It completely lost control of itself. I've never seen it lately like this before. Ah, oh, she's very protective. Yes, we do. Drifflin. Yeah, Drifflin. If we can get it to carry us, we should be able to escape through the hole in the ceiling. Alright, Tim, we need to find Drifflin. It's got to be here somewhere in this cave. We can get out if we just ask Drifflin, right? Good. Let's go look for one. Okay, now we need to look for... Drifflin, so... Hey, wake up. Good, it's awake. Maybe they're a little bit deeper in the in the cave too. Yeah, I hope we can keep this up as we move ahead. Oh, there's Glalie. I wonder if it's okay. It seems a lot calmer. Hey Glalie, can you talk? Yeah, good, we should ask it some questions. Why did you go on rampage like that? Did someone make you angry? What? You don't remember anything? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Doesn't he remember going berserk for some reason? That's a little... Odd. What were you doing before you went berserk? It remembers watching Amelia and Mako feel filming. So it's not like they did any something wrong. Something fell down from above? I wonder what that means. You seem really ripe though. Are you alright? Oh, so you were actually better now than you were a while ago. When you came to, you couldn't even move. I wonder what happened to it. You want some water? You must be very thirsty. If you find some water, we'll bring it to you. Wait, did you No. Hey, another Litwick. It's getting bright even- It's getting bright even deep within this cave. Hey look, Litwick up there too. Yeah, I see them. Hey Litwick. It's no use, they can't hear us. Guess we need to get closer. Climb up is impossible. We need to figure out another way to, to wake them up. Maybe other Pokemon can help us out. Is this Drifling? Glalie's move must have frozen as solid. Do you think it's okay? I'm sure it's fine. Why, maybe we become a new attraction for this cave. If we're joking around, we need to help it. Hmm, why do we need to melt- So we need to melt the ice. Tim, carry for me, would you? Yeah, I say we bring it up to those two a little bit at the- At the- Start cave. These two. How about these guys? Hey, can you lend us some warmth? Do we do it? Yes. Awesome. It totally melted. It says thanks. Know anything about this cave? It says everyone gets along well. We want to wake up the Litwick that are up high deeper in this cave. We wake them up for, we wake them up for us since we helped you. Thanks, Drifling. 
Duke Griffin. You see, just drifting around. Yeah, I'll end it soon. When we explore most most of everything in the cave. Alright, we'll go more. And I never noticed how actually big it is. Talk to the, these guys. Hey, live it here too. There's a river ahead. This is as deep as we can go, I think. So we can get this water and bring it to Kaylee. Is water in this river drinkable? Yeah, this water is famous. It's also good for making coffee. In that case, let's get Kaylee a drink. Yes, let's go give it to Kaylee. Can we talk to Noibat? Noiburn. Here, we brought you some water. Drink it slowly. Hey, that seems to have perked you up a bit. That's good to see. Alright, so let's talk to these guys. This is Noibat, uh, at home in the darkness. The, there are three tunnels and three hanging Pokemon. That's Noibat. Noi. Hey guys, have you seen Rifflin? What? That is like you small food? Huh? Oh, I still got a piece of candy in my pocket. Noi, 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 noi. All these guys claim that Rifflin is in their own tunnel. Each says will let us pass if you give them the candy. So they're actually supposed to see that many drifts from here? Nah, they're probably just lying, lying because they want the food. Let's take our testimony to figure out which one is telling the truth. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna... Yeah, so I'm gonna end this episode. Um, next episode, guys, we will get out... We will find a way to... Which one drift lands in. Do this one, this one, or this one. Um, yeah, then we'll try to escape this cave. Um, I reckon we'll have to use Glalie again. Um, so anyway, next episode we'll free Drifflin and then Drifflin, and then we'll exit this cave. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.